with Josh Bartley. He's a member of varsity football, varsity soccer, varsity lacrosse, and also the National Honor Society. Josh excels in the classroom and in athletics. He's a student and athlete and teachers um, wish that they had more of. Josh is always very cheerful and enthusiastic and willing to help fellow classmates and others. An example of Josh's kind heart is when Josh is walking into the gas station and a homeless man asks him for money. Originally, Josh gave him a couple bucks and the, and the homeless man kept begging for more and more. Josh ended, ended up giving him $20, even though the guy was probably only going to spend it on cold beer. But um, the guy. Um, and so that's just a little example of Josh. And this generous man is enrolling in NC State where he will pursue his dream of becoming an engineer. All day and they will miss you, miss you, and we wish you the best of luck in the future. Um, originally, I was going to have Alex sing for us, but I didn't want him to take all the spotlight off my speech. Uh, sorry, for, sorry I'm late. I literally just got out of a calculus exam, so my eyes are kind of fuzzy, but I got my spectacles here. Uh, all right. Okay, so it's hard to believe that three years ago I walked into this building to take a tour with no intention of attending school here, and now I'll be graduating from this same school in just a few days. I had I'd gone to public school my entire life, and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. When I first came to Davidson Day, I didn't really like it. Everything was different. The kids were different, the teachers were different, the classes were too small, and I missed all my friends from public school. The workload was much heavier, and you couldn't get away with sleeping in the, in the back of class or not doing your homework. For the first time in my life, I was challenged in school. I couldn't just breeze by all my classes like I used to. At first, I thought this was a bad thing. Sure, it would have been easier to just go back to public school and everything would have gone back to normal. I'd be with all my old friends and get to enjoy my ideal high school experience. But I realized that high school isn't about any of those things. It's not about popularity. It's not about sitting at the cool table in the cafeteria. It's not about how many followers you have on Twitter or how many likes you got on your Facebook posts. It's not about how many girlfriends you've had or how many people came to your party last night. It's not about swag or any of that. <laughs> All of these are just big distractions. Sorry. <laughs> um, high school isn't supposed to be easy. Nothing in this life comes easy. If high school is too hard, don't stop caring and try to take an easy route. Work harder. If high school is too easy for you, don't be satisfied with that. Challenge yourself. Take harder classes so that you can make yourself better. High school is about pushing your limits and figuring out where you want to go in life. It's about finding yourself and what you want to be. You can be so many different things. You can be a lawyer, a doctor, a, a teacher, a businessman, an engineer, or even an astronaut. The list goes on and on. Find something you enjoy doing. Find something you're passionate about. You don't have to decide now but hopefully you'll have an idea of what you want to be by the time you leave high school. No matter what you choose to do, make sure it's something you love. High school is preparing you for the real world. I've been looking at high school the wrong way this whole time. I wish I'd realized then what I realize now. I wish I could go back, to the time, go back in time and smack some sense into the 15-year-old Josh Barkley that thought he knew it all. This year I realized that making the transfer to Hope, from Hopewell to Davidson Day was a good thing. In fact, coming to Davidson Day was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. Davidson Day has not only prepared me for the challenges that await me in college, but also the challenges that await me in life. On that note, I'd like to thank God for bringing me here and keeping me on the right path. I'd like to thank Chad Greer, Will Greer, and Dave Sarepka for their influence in my decision to come to Davidson Day. I'd also like to thank Chad Greer and Dave Sarepka for their persistence in convincing me to come back and play football again this year. If it weren't for them, I would have missed out on a great experience playing football this fall. I'd also like to thank Dave for all the rides to school sophomore year and for teaching me how to maneuver through traffic on Catawba Avenue to get to school on time. Um, I'd like to thank Coach Moore for being such a great mentor, 
mentor to me on the football field uh, these past few years. I'd like to thank Coach Illing, Coach Darby, Coach Smith, Coach Monroe, Coach Heller, Coach Jason Greer. Yeah, it's a lot of coaches. And uh, all of the coaching staff, anybody I miss for a great experience this season. I'd like to thank Coach Brown for being such a patient and knowledgeable lacrosse coach. I'm by no means an, a college worthy, a college worthy, excuse me, lacrosse player, but you've helped me improve tremendously. You also did a great job driving us to all the games this year. <laughs> I'd like to thank Mr. London and Coach Wagner for a great soccer season last year. I remember showing up to the first game with no clue what was going on. Taylor, Adam, and I had to stuff socks in, in place of our shin guards because we thought we were too manly to wear them. Little did we know, you're, you aren't allowed to play without them. <laughs> Although I lacked the ability to kick the ball in, in a specific direction, which was really a central part of the game, <laughs> you still gave me a chance. And I really enjoyed being a part of the team last year. I'd also like to thank you, Mr. Lennon, for being such a great, great English teacher. I know it's been stressful dealing with our class every day, and I don't know how you do it. You have the greatest stories, and I'm going to miss your humorous and sarcastic comments in class every day. Thank you, Ms. Noah and Ms. Gracely, for being such great advisors throughout my time here. Ms. Elliott, thank you so much for all that you've done to help me in the college process this year. Ms. Brown, it's a, shame, it's a shame this is the only year I've had the opportunity to be in one of your classes, but it was a pleasure being in your AP Biology class this year. I thought I was the only one that stayed up late, late at night thinking about biology until I met you. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, you, make them, you make the material so much easier to understand than the book does. Thank you. Madam Davis. J'ai eu un bon temps à prendre français avec toi cette année. Vous avez aidé à améliorer le cours et j'ai m'imparé votre classe de l'année prochaine. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Mr. Saunders, you're a pretty righteous hombre. <laughs> and I had an awesome time in anthropology this year. You're probably one of the funniest teachers I've ever had. Thanks for being such a cool teacher and letting us use your room every day during lunch. By the way, I'm also sorry for everything that Kevin Lee did to your frog and gnome. That's a pretty serious subject. Mr. Wynn, the man who broke his back and walked to tell the tale. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. Um, it's too bad you didn't get to coach the cross this year, but thanks for keeping me so entertained last year. I'd also like to thank you for teaching me that it's not a good idea to wait until the night before to write a 10-page paper on current events in Fiji. Not that I did this or anything, but if you were to do something like this, I'd also recommend you take a monster energy drink the same night. Mr. Metzler, thanks again for the omelets this morning. Ms. Brown didn't believe you, but they were delicious. Um, you are definitely one of the most challenging teachers I've ever faced. You are also one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. Thank you for giving me such a hard time in pre-calc last year in order to prepare me for calculus. You taught me so much and helped me appreciate the fact that calculus is very useful in the real world. I also thought the occasional soccer videos were a nice addition to class as well. Last, and certainly not least, Mr. Lodge. Unfortunately, I didn't have you as a teacher this year, but I'll, at least I got to be in your chess club this year. AP Chemistry was a great experience for me. I learned a lot of useful information that I'll be able to take with me to college, and I still have my periodic table sheet that you gave me sophomore year. You're a great teacher. You know when to be serious and when to throw in humor to keep everyone interested. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to write my recommendation. I'll never know what you said but it must have been something good because it got me into college. <laughs> Matt, my baby brother. I can't believe you're going to be driving the car next year after I leave. Keep up the hard work in school. It'll pay off. I'm going to miss you next year. And make sure you let me know if anyone gives you any trouble. I'll only be a few hours away. Mom and Dad, words cannot express how thankful I am for the two of you. But I'd just like to thank you for everything you've done for me and let you know how much you mean to me. You've done so much for me. Thank you for always being there for me, even when I was too prideful or stubborn to ask for your help. 
You've been strict on me at times, and I haven't always reacted well to that. It's because I don't, I didn't understand that everything you did that I found unfair was really just because you cared about me and only wanted the best for me. You're two of the hardest working people I've ever had the privilege of knowing. I strive to have the same work ethic, work, work ethic as you. Maybe that's what helped me manage to work my job both days on the weekends, play sports during the week, and still do well in school. I love you guys so much. Thank you for caring for me, taking care of me for these past 18 years. Finally, I'd just like to say a word to all of you freshmen out there. I hope you take my advice. You've got a long way to go, but like everyone else tells you, it'll go by fast. I promised, I also promised I'd give a shout out to my fellow fisherman, Drew Lucas. So, there you go, Drew. Um, <laughs> the rest of you sophomores out there, fasten up your seatbelts because junior year is no walk in the park. And juniors, you've got one more year left. Enjoy it and finish strong. Thank you.